everyone. So we are at the Indian burial mounds on St. Paul on the east side. Um, this is a place where they have protected some land where the indigenous people of this area um, chose to bury their dead, which is right on the bluffs of the Mississippi River. Um, so I'll walk around and show you this, but there's, I believe there's six different mounds that are enclosed in a fence um, and inside our entire families and artifacts and their belongings um, from when they were buried originally here hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So let's take you through and um, show you this place here, okay? So this, this is very sacred ground, very sacred land, obviously. So um, let's take a look. So here we have the bluffs of the great famous Mississippi River. Um, we are on the east side of St. Paul. Indian Mounds Park. So here's one of the mounds right here. You can kind of see it's, um, they're protected. They try and keep them up here. There's another Indian burial site across the, um, the state lines in Wisconsin that they don't do such a great job of um, protecting those. But as you can see, Native American burial grounds keep off. So underneath these mounds of land, are buried our native relatives. So, native to this area, oh, look, someone left them some flowers. Native to the Minnesota area and um, Canada are the Ojibwe people, um, Anishinaabe, which is the the um, tribe that I'm affiliated with. And then um, there's also Lakota or Dakota. And that is the tribe that Billy is a member of. So there's several different tribes here, but um, there's one of the mounds right there. Mississippi guys We're approaching the rest of the mounds It is a very peaceful spot off of the river. Obviously the water has, um, has a really strong meaning for native people. Water is life. Um, water is a moving spirit, a living spirit. So obviously they deemed this land, holy land, sacred land, um, overlooking the banks of this river and they chose it to bury their dead. There's two large mounds here. And there's another couple of them this way.
but you know, props to the city of St. Paul. They do a really good job of protecting these. Um, we might journey over to the other side of the border to Wisconsin later on in the summer and show you the moms that are over there um, in Wisconsin. They're not so protected as these are, so appreciate the city of St. Paul for honoring these native lands. So as we were walking, Billy found this little banner that's made out of some, looks like some rawhide, um, that says Wakan on it. And I know some Ojibwe words, I don't know Lakota. Yeah, I'm Lakota. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> we looked it up and what it means is powerful or sacred and it um, means great spirit that originated from the Rum River of Minnesota. So that's what that means. Makes sense. Wakan. So that's that. Um, all along these fences there's flowers that people have placed here for the buried that are underneath. So that's that's really cool. It looks like this place is really actually respected by people in the community. Um, here's some little other personal effects that people have placed. So all in all they do a really great job here um, of respecting this as a sacred ground. So pretty place to come. I see this ledge right there, I'm like... set aside these days to do adventures and film them for you guys um, we try to do four or five different adventures in a day um, I have a full-time job too so um, I have to set aside these blocks of time where I can actually go and film places with Billy um, and we figured when we made this we set this date back in January so it's April 10th today um, we figured we'd be in the clear as far as the weather goes it should be like in the 60s and 70s um, unfortunately it's like 37 degrees uh, we did have 65 degree weather a couple days ago but we have believe it or not um, a snowstorm coming in tonight it's just ridiculous you guys it's this is not not cool um, but it is what it is Snow is about to come through tonight. It's supposed to snow all night and then all day tomorrow. So that's why the skies look kind of gray and gloomy. Um, kind of a melancholy day, but um, <laughs> nothing we can do about it. That's Minnesota weather for you, you guys. Makes us tough people, that's for sure. So she's normally a fountain. I suppose it's too cold um, right now to have the water running, but I am just going to call it a wrap for the Indian Mounds Park video. I hope you guys enjoyed the history of this place. Um, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. So here at this native statue, which is normally a fountain, um, there's people that have left different artifacts here. Corey Klein, 10, 10 584 4, 14, 17, he was loved. And some different coins and medallions and then one single rose. And with that, we are done. I thought we were done here at Indian Mounds Park, but as we were about to leave in the car, 
um, Billy noticed something and pointed it out to me and I thought it was really cool. Um, she said, and I've never noticed this from this point before, but from this exact spot on Indian Mounds, um, you can see the cities of St. Paul, which is in the forefront there, and Minneapolis, which is off to the distance in the skyline. You can see them both at the same time. They're perfectly aligned, which is crazy. Um, this is the state of the Twin Cities, but usually you cannot see them at the same time like this. So this, there's something really neat about this spot in particular that you can actually see both of them align perfectly at the same time. So that's awesome. And one more thing before we go, I wanna give a big shout out to all my native brothers and sisters. Today I actually happen to be representing for my Red Lake Nation. Um, so shout out to all my native brothers and sisters, all the relatives around the world. Peace.